you know, I'm Nez. I'm up in the kitchen. And um, this time, we're going what we're going to be making is, bam, it's, you see all the ingredients there? Bet you can't figure out what it is. Or I bet you can. It's going to be uh, my patented, well, I shouldn't say patented, but my uh, easy slow cooker chili. Um, now, these are pretty much all the ingredients you need. I'll go over everything with you. You're going to need two pounds of uh, um, ground beef or ground turkey. Or in my case, I use one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground turkey because I like the combination of two. You're going to need two cans. So, um, cans of uh, um, red beans. Um, but me, what I did is I refried them. I refried them in a little bit of uh, chili powder, um, olive oil, and... Um, I heat up the olive oil with a little bit of garlic in it for uh, two minutes to roast the garlic a little bit. And then I um, poured the beans in it. Then I, you know, I, obviously I poured the, uh, the I uh, cleaned and rinsed the um, beans, uh, two cans of beans, two, um, what is it, uh, 16 ounce cans, two 14, uh, whatever, two 15 ounce cans of beans. Um, uh, 15, 16, same thing. And um, I rinsed them off. Then I poured them in there with maybe like two tablespoons of uh, cumin and uh uh, two tablespoons of seasoned salt, and then I cooked that for about five minutes until it's done. Then I mashed them because I do not like the consistency of whole beans. I, I never liked it. That's just me. I like the taste of beans, but I hate chewing on actual beans. I don't know. It's just something about it. I don't like it. So my remedy to get beans in my chili um, is to um, refry them and mash them. And uh, then I get to let, add a little more seasoning because you know my motto, uh, flavor upon flavor upon flavor. So I take every opportunity to add some flavor. And uh, the, um, the meat mixture there, I flavored that with a little bit of seasoning sauce and cumin also. It just gives me more opportunities to add some flavor. You season upon taste however you like to taste it. It's up to you. That's just what I did. You don't have to season it at all. Um, most people make do this without adding any extra seasoning. Um, me, like I said, flavor upon flavor. Okay. So... You got your two cans of uh, 14 uh, 5 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. Um, I got I take a chance for flavoring, and these are uh, basil, garlic, and oregano. Um, you could get the plain ones if you want. That's up to you. You get two cans of those, and then you need um, two onions, diced. And one bell pepper dice. Now, I took a liberty. I did that last night because I want to be like Rachel Ray and have everything all prepared. That way I could do the do my little segment in a, a minimum amount of time. Um, and then uh, you got your minced garlic. You can uh, have like uh, one table, uh, one teaspoon or one tablespoon, depending on how garlic you like it. Um, one teaspoon, one teaspoon should be suffice. But um, I'm probably going to do like two teaspoons of, of garlic. And then... Um, whatever your favorite sauce is, um, this is 24 ounces. I would say half of this, so 12 ounces. Um, and the only reason why I'm doing 12 ounces is because when you refry the beans, for some reason, the beans tends to um, thicken it up. But ordinarily, if you're using whole beans, then eight ounces would be of whatever tomato sauce. Um, you can use regular tomato sauce, or like I said, you could use, you know, ragu. Um, um, you need eight ounces would be fine. But like I said, in this recipe, I'm using 12. Okay, so that's, and then, um, oh yeah, your uh, chili flavoring. Now, I'm cheating. Um, I could sit there and go through a laundry list of all different type of flavors to get the chili um, flavoring, but this is basically all those ingredients in a packet. So, I'm using two pounds, and the uh, uh, ratio is one packet per pound, so that's why I need two packets. All right, bam. All right, so I got my, got my crock pot over here. What I'm going to do is um, we're gonna, first what we're gonna do, take the lid off, we're gonna spray down the inside of the crock pot. Just so you got a nice little layer going there, you know, non-stick layer going there. And then basically just add all your ingredients. Now what I like to do is I like to spread the ingredients around a little bit so one cup of tomatoes, bong. Add the meat. Onion pepper. Make it nice and simple there.
I'll do one heaping. Instead of two tablespoons, I'll do one heaping. Instead of two teaspoons, I'll do one heaping teaspoon and just kind of like spread it around. So, bam, it's my garlic. Open up one packet here, spread that around. <clears throat> the rest of the onion. So like I said, two, you want two whole onions and one whole bell pepper. All right. Now I'm going to put my refried beans in there. My bean mixture, however you want to call it. Put that in there. The other can of diced tomatoes. And half a jar of ragu. If it's a little bit more, it's not going to kill it. All right, and last but not least, the other pack of chili mix. And that should make a nice hearty chili. So let's kind of mix that up a little bit. Get that mixture going. Now, you want to make sure you give it a nice little stir in the beginning. Now, this is going to be nice and thick like I like it, like a nice thick chili. You can dip some chips in it, you know. You can eat it whole and it's nice and hearty. That's what I like. Well, I'm just, I'm just trying to give it a nice, decent stir because, like I said, I got the refried beans in there and they were all like, clumped together. So, I want to kind of get them mixed up together so everything mixes together fine. If you're just using whole beans, you you know, it's it's not he's not so much mixing. Right. That's good enough. What I'm gonna do? Throw my lid on this bad boy. Lock her down. Bam. Now what we going to do here, what we going to do here, now it's time, let's see, we're going to take it to the app. We're going to take it to the app here. I can get my bad boy going. All right, just give me a second here. Let me restart the app. For some reason it's locked up on that. Okay, here we go. All right. You know, because I got the Wi-Fi, John. All right. Now, I want to set this, the cook time, for four hours on high. So four, okay, it's six hours. You gotta set your temperature first and then your cook time. So four hours on high and then set four hours on high. Now this bad boy is rocking. So in four hours, well, I have some nice juicy chili and it gives me, it even gives you my time. It tells me that my chili is gonna be ready at approximately 6.43 p.m., which is great. My wife should be getting home sometime you know around that time and when you get home chili be done and in the end i might just have to open it up and just maybe just add maybe a pinch of salt or something like that to it but i'm sure this will be perfect so well, um with that being said um we're just gonna let this run for four hours and um we're gonna come back on the flip side see what she looks like see what she tastes like and uh and finish off the video so um you know how i do bet you know how i do baby I'm going to see you on the flip side. You know how I do flip side, baby. Okay. We're back in. 
if we're about done, let's check it out. See what we're working with here. See what we're working with here. I know this is going to be biz banging. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that just look awesome? Let's give that a little stir. Look at that. Look at look how look how hearty that is. That's what I'm talking about. I love me a hearty chili. Love it. Look at that. Look how good that looks. I'm saying. You could eat put this on your chips. You could eat this by itself, put a little cheese on it. However you like it, I'm telling you. You you cannot go wrong with this chili right here. I'm saying. This is look. You need if you haven't already, you need to get down with this recipe right here. I'm telling you. Let's give it a little, let's give it a little taste. See what we're working with here. Oh. Oh. Words cannot explain how good this tastes. Oh, look, you need to get this chili in your life for real. You need to seriously get this chili in your in your life. And it's so easy, so easy. Just follow those directions that I gave you. You know, I'll put all that in the description. Make it nice and makes it nice and simple for you. But seriously, it don't get no simpler than this, this chili right here. So with that being said, I'm Nez. I'm up in the kitchen and this has been. Uh, the recipe for the um, slow cooker chili or crock pot chili, however you want to call it. This is my my rendition of it. A nice, simple rendition. I'm Nez. And I'm about to get all up in this chili, as you can already see. And I'm out this piece. Bon appetito, because I'm about to.